Hello guys, Mr. Fluffy Pants here. Today guys another video. And today guys we're reviewing season one, episode five of WandaVision, which is called on a very special episode, which uh this is definitely the longest episode by far. And also I did do reviews for the other four episodes, so check that out. And also uh like and subscribe if you guys want to check out my reviews of the next four upcoming episodes, because there's nine episodes in total. But uh this review will contain spoilers. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. I already I watched it twice, one by myself this morning, and then one with a friend. Um you know, just kind of hang out, and he hasn't watched it, so we, I kind of watched it again, which I was like, yeah, I'll watch it again, because, you know, this was actually a really good episode, but, uh, you know, on a very special episode, you know, this episode takes place in the 80s now, because, you know, episode three was in the 70s or whatnot, but, um, and, you know, it's stuff in Wander's World starts unraveling, you know, there's that huge uh, Easter egg thing at the end, but uh, pretty much this episode, you know, Wanda and Vision's twins uh, kind of grow up rapidly, uh, like, they go from, like, infants to, um, to five years old to ten, uh, you know, there's the whole, uh, the whole subplot within, you know, Wanda's sitcom show about the, uh, dog they get, you know, how it dies, and, uh, uh, the whole thing about, you know, their twin, uh, the twins ask some Wanda, like, uh, you're, you're magic, why don't, uh, you can, uh, fix dead, uh, and then, like, you know, also the whole thing, uh, and also, I really like how this episode, um, you know, kind of goes back and forth between, you know, the sitcom thing we got in the first three episodes, and then kind of the sword stuff we got in episode four, like, I think that's what this episode really excels in, because, you know, I did, like, both of those, ep or, you know, the sitcom stuff and the, uh, you know, episode four, we, inter we interrupt this program, but, I think the way they mash them together is really well, and, you know, uh, this episode's based off of stuff like Full House or, like, uh, uh, Family Ties or whatnot, especially with that intro, which I've never personally watched uh, Family Ties, but it looks interesting, I guess, but, um, you know, there's some more weird stuff with, like, Agnes, uh, the way she's acting when the vision tells her she can't hold the kids or whatnot, she's like, you want me to take that or something like that, um, and, you know, we also kind of, you know, go with the theory that Wanda is not fully in control, or, no, I'm sorry, I said that wrong, but that she is fully in control in, uh, even, like, later uh, at the end of the episode where Vision and Wanda fight, which I think was excellent. How, you know, she, she tries to get rid of the situation by just rolling the credits. And then Vision's like, uh, nuh -uh. And, you know, how they fight over... Um now, he even says that, you know, I, th I think this was subconscious at first, but then you became aware of it, kind of like I did. He's like, listen, you may have control over them, but you don't have that same control over me. And he's like, and then Wanda's like, well, you never fought like this with me before. And he's like, I don't remember before. And, you know, we learned during, uh, and also let me just say, I love um, Jimmy Woo, Darcy, and... Um, and Monica together, those, that's the tr uh, trio right there, but I love them, but uh, let's see, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, some, uh, so, you know, when the when Wanda and Vision are fighting, he's like, there wasn't even before, and you know, with some of these sword stuff we see earlier, Wanda actually broke into a sword facility and stole Vision's uh, dead body, which looked like they were disassembling or something, which, just seeing, it seems sword might be a more nefarious company than we thought, especially if uh, Harward or whatever the uh, acting director's name is, but especially whenever he fires that missile at Wanda uh, via that drone, uh, you know, they send in, and then that really badass scene where Wanda comes out, uh, you know, you got like the green leg from the uh, assault rifles aimed on her, and then she's like, um, they, and then Monica's like, well, what do you want? And she's like, I already got what I need. I don't want it taken away again or blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then, you know, she uses her mind control powers to, uh, you know, aim all the, uh, the guns at the, uh, Har 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 Harway, whatever, the, you know, the director of S.W.O.R.D. And, you know, that was really bad. She walks back in and puts up, like, a fortification around, you know, the hex, as we call it this episode, which, let me just say, absolutely, let me say it again. I loved, uh, you know, Jimmy Woo, Darcy, and, uh, Monica together. Like, that's just such a great combination of characters from, you know, across the MCU, and, you know, I'm really starting to like Monica, honestly, I, I do, uh, you know, at first, I was a little apprehensive, I guess, but, uh, I like the way this is coming together, you know, Wanda is just, like, really evil, um, you know, there's still that theory that, you know, she's still getting controlled, but, you know, so far, we've led to believe that, you know, she's doing this all herself, which, uh, is another point, they ended the episode when Wanda and Vision are fighting, uh, uh, you know, and, uh, she, you know, uh, kind of, I guess, uh, thing or time perfectly, the doorbell rings and she goes to the door and it's Pietro, but not Pietro, we know, but it's, you know, Wanda's Pietro, but it's actually, uh, the actor from, uh, the X-Men movies that's Quicksilver, which, and even Darcy's like, she recast Pietro, um, so that's kind of interesting, uh, my theory and the theory I'm going with that I heard is that, uh, you know, that ain't really, you know, Pietro or whatever, that's, uh, I think his name's Evan Peters, is actually playing Mephisto, um, and, you know, he kind of just tricks Wanda in thinking that, you know, uh, 
you know, that's Quicksilver or whatnot. I don't know if they're actually going to bring back the actor that played Quicksilver in the MCU, but uh, a lot of people are saying, like, he was acting very different than he did, uh, you know, in the X-Men movies, which, you know, goes with the point that it might not be a, a multiverse version of Quicksilver, which is interesting. So I'm going to I'm gonna go with the theory that Evan Peters is playing uh, um, Fisto right now, which, uh, you know, would also go with the whole thing that Wanda's not fully in control. Um but, you know, she's she's made to believe that she's in control. But even, like, she's like, I don't control, you know, like, everybody walking their dog or, you know, going make, making it on time to their disappointments. And she's she doesn't even know, like, you know, what's going on, which I think is really interesting. But, honestly, I think this is the best episode of WandaVision so far. I'll probably end up, you know, rating this episode like a 9.8 out of 10. Uh, I know that's a little high, but just kind of going for what I rated the other episodes, I'm going to rate this a 9.8 because I think this has the perfect mix of, you know, the whole sitcom style that they were going for and also the... Uh, you know, the sword kind of, uh, you know, mystery stuff we had going on with episode four. Like I said, I think that was, you know, perfectly blended together. And, you know, it's, if, you know, this episode got pretty wild. I cannot wait to see, you know, what the other four episodes entail, especially with that mid-season trailer, uh, you know, uh, and, Hopefully, you know, we'll see a WandaVision fight or, you know, they'll, you know, some of the trailers, it looks like they're going to, you know, team up to go fight somebody or I don't know. You know hopefully this ending is going to be very epic or lead directly into Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Badness or, you know, just kind of like whatever. But like, I'm really excited. So make sure you guys subscribe for, uh, you know, the, these future episodes. But check out my Twitter and Discord link in the description. Comment down below what you guys thought about this episode. Uh, like and subscribe for more. Check out some other videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye.